Okay, great. Just a, a couple of more um, two that are in the area of genetic therapy, which of course is near and dear to my heart. Um, so I'll go through these quickly. We know that the, the basic concept is that every person with PWS has the maternal um, genes, the PWS genes sitting there on the maternal chromosome, whether you're deletion or UPD, that, that you know, you have one, one or two maternal chromosomes, the genes are there, they're just inactive. And so the next two grants are really about trying to activate those genes. This first one is from Dr. Butler um, at UT Southwestern, and he's um, using a genetic therapy approach to, um, to knock down a negative regulator of uh, the gene activation. So it's it's like a double negative. So this uh, protein, which is sometimes called gene RNA, sometimes called uh, EHMT2, um, silences the, the PWS region on the maternal chromosome. And so he's using an approach to block that so that the genes get unsilenced and become active. We're excited about this study because it, it builds on some previous work that FPWR funded, Dr. Jang's work, showing that this molecule is a key regulator of gene expression in the PWS region, but it's a different way of trying to um, knock that gene down and allow re-expression. So it takes a different approach. And it's really important at this stage, which is still early days for genetic therapy of PWS, to look at different approaches and then try and try to assess which is the more feasible approach to move into clinical trials uh, in, in humans with PWS.